you are watching Case News with Anna Profit, today in the release. Governments in blockchain technology, Great Britain's Department of Woken Pensions, Netherlands Central Bank and Dutch Pension Fund. Operating system and low language on the blockchain, while 2S and Legalist projects are under the development. Travel around the world and pay only cryptocurrencies. Felix Weiss has ended his 18 months trip. Details of these and other events in a few seconds. The big difference is the thousand years track record of gold against just seven years of Bitcoin. As a member of the board of directors of Misel Brazil, Fernando Ulrich reported the Foundation for Economic Education official site, Bitcoin trading is exceeding gold trading in Brazil. In the period of first six months of 2016, over 47 million US dollars were traded on the Bitcoin exchanges, while gold spot contracts were registered around 44 million US dollars. In June, Bitcoin trading volume was twice the gold volume. These volumes fell in comparison to what goes on in the world and in more developed nations, both in the gold and crypto markets. Nevertheless, one should not underestimate this historic and important milestone for Bitcoin in Brazil, says Fernando Uwik, marking Bitcoin as a genuine competitor to the gold. The Central Bank of the Netherlands is preparing the blockchain project, which will change all the financial system, according to the Coindesk.com. Bank's head of market infrastructure, Ron Bernson, noted that blockchain technology is more secure for the finances. If hackers will take down three data centers, they will take down the financial market's infrastructure. With blockchain, we can distribute the nodes, and you might not even know where they are. The experiment is scheduled to begin later this year. Distributing welfare payments are testing in the United Kingdom in spearheading of government's Department of Work and Pensions. Remind that the experiment is aimed to monitor welfare spending and see if people reliant on welfare payments would benefit from this approach. Partners – Barclays, the UK arm of German energy firm RWE, fintech startup Gaukain and University College London. Next step is mobile application designed to track payments sent or received by welfare recipients. A Dutch management service that oversees the largest pension fund for government and education workers in the Netherlands has begun exploring possible blockchain applications, according to thekindesk.com. APG, the Dutch pension system, announced earlier this week it is partnered with Maastricht University and the Netherlands Organization for Applied Scientific Research to explore blockchain and artificial intelligence. Giants are rolling out blockchain technology. According to the CoinJournal.net and Financial, the online payments affiliate of Alibaba and the world's second most valuable private technology company, with a valuation of more than $60 billion, announced they are rolling out blockchain technology for payments. Firstly, blockchain tech will be applied to donation platform transparency increasing and a trust mechanism, with each payment providing and spending of donations recorded on the blockchain. IBM plans to open a blockchain innovation center in Singapore in collaboration with the main economic planning agency, the Singapore Economic Development Board and the Monetary Authority of Singapore, to accelerate blockchain adoption for finance and trade. According to the Reuters.com, one project will be provided together with PSA International, one of the largest container transshipment ports, aims to connect fintech with global trade and logistics. Coming up, cryptocurrencies news, blockchain startups and projects, digital financing in the applied aspect. Are you looking for lucrative investment opportunities? Try cryptocurrency cloud mining service Hashflare. You will get high returns on your investment and will be able to withdraw your money at any time. You can start investing from as little as $3 and it has never been easier to generate returns with Hashflare. Sign up today at hashflare.io Value2S, a modern banking engine core software that runs on the cloud and a blockchain-centric operating system, is developing by former Google engineer. Paul Taylor, founder and CEO of UK-based fintech startup Salt Machine, said to CryptoCoinsNews.com. 
It's time for new ideas built with today's technology. Value2S fixes broken banking and will be the engine for the banks of tomorrow. As for today, the platform is already being used by banks and financial institutions, with over 70,000 Value2S builds and nearly 120 Value2S code commits. Emicoin and Microsoft Azure released the Emicoin blockchain engine in the Azure Marketplace. This is the first application in the Microsoft Azure Marketplace which working with a blockchain technology that is designed for end-users to be released on the Azure platform. According to BitcoinGarden.tk, this solution can be used as a structural foundation and blockchain subsystem for more complex systems, as well as an independent online wallet with web access. Talking with the law in a mass language Legalist is an open-source project writing a new programming language specifically for smart contracts. It is developed by Virgil Griffiths and Wong Meng Guang. The startup has won $8,888 as a grant from String Labs and now, as Coindesk.com noted, is planning to continue the work with a team of established leaders in the industry. Counterparty, financial tools technology and Storgy decentralized cloud storage are developing payment channel technology for use on the counterparty network. According to the Coin Telegraph, the project is codenamed Pico Payments. The prototype will allow to transfer the Storgy coin access tokens between members and other counterparty based assets. A distinguishing feature of such charges should be the lowest possible rate and commission. The payment system in the real time. CamelotPay.com. Relations well. Profile education in the digital world. The University of Nicosia has launched the first Master of Science degree in digital currency offered to students worldwide through an online format. They have universities representative on the line. Hello, tell us please, why did you launch the Master of Science degree in digital currency? Hello Anna, and thanks for having us here. So, we developed the MSc in Digital Currency at the University of Nicosia in late 2013 as a response to the increased demand that we saw on the market for a professional and academically accredited education on the topic. We chose the approach of a generalist so we could also teach people from finance about the technology and people from with a technological background about finance, economics and business. So we could create better educated professional graduates who can contribute in either parts of this ecosystem as it is developing. So we developed a free massive online open course initially taught by Andreas Antonopoulos and Antonis Polimitis which teaches the basics of the technologies and is freely available to everyone and we maintain the same approach during the MSc program itself. So beyond going into depth about the building blocks of this technology and how it can change the, the business environment, we also go more into the economics, the finance aspect, the capital markets, the regulation aspects of it and how it translates as an innovation in the modern world. Beyond those steps, uh, students have the option of specializing whether they want in business and finance issues or whether they want to go into depth about the technology, the programming, the security of the blockchain and Bitcoin. So who are the teachers? So as teachers we try to find the best available from the research community, from the ecosystem developers and from the business landscape. So. We have Antonis Polimitis and Andreas Antonopoulos who present in a, in a stark contrast both the finance and the technological aspects of this technology. We have Dr. Charles Evans who's in charge of teaching about the economics perspective of a digital currency and conventional banking. We have Mark Tuhi who's teaching the regulatory interface regarding the use of cryptocurrencies and smart contracts. We have Dr. Gassan Karame, who is teaching us on the security aspects of the protocol, vulnerabilities and the cryptography that's used in the background. At the same time, we try to accommodate as many interviews as possible with industry experts who are building this 
reality right now. So we've already interviewed prominent business leaders like uh, Austin Hill from Blockstream, Marwan Forsley from Align Commerce, uh, Richard Brown from X IBM, now working with R3 CEV, Faisal Khan, who's a prominent uh, remittance expert and money service business uh, thought leader, and many more. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We continue the educational theme. The first summer course on Bitcoin and blockchain technologies was held in Spain. The University of Cantabria provided two days course on the digital education. Students got the basic knowledge to enter the world of cryptocurrencies and in particular of Bitcoin. Around the world in 18 months using only cryptocurrencies. Felix Weiss, Bitcoin traveler, freelance developer, digital nomad, has returned from the travel. During the trip, he visited over 40 cities in 27 countries. To it, the trip was an amazing experience in Bitcoin and other currencies using. We believe that we'll acquaint you in the nearest release. The interview with Felix is preparing. That's all for today. You can contact the editorial office by phone and email in the description below this video. Put the likes and subscribe to our channel to be aware of all the events. See you in a week.